Hey gang, it's Steph, and today we're going to be bringing you the power leveling guide, the ultimate power leveling guide for EverQuest. This video is going to mainly touch on level uh, 8, 9, 10-ish to level 70, and it's mad XP, so take notes, pause the video when you need to, and get ready to grind your off. There's two things you're going to need to pick up before we even get started. And one is if you do not have an AoE ability and if you're a melee tune. Uh, that will be the Ol of Finn and Roll. You can get these off the bazaar. And we'll talk more about these later on in the video. The other thing you're going to need to grab is some potions. So you're going to hit Control F and find the potion vendor in the Plane of Knowledge. And you're going to follow the path. Once you get there, there's going to be a ton of potions you can get, and they're fairly cheap. You'll notice here in a second that they're like 7 gold for level 5. You can start getting these at level 5, and uh, they're really cheap. Now, the reason you want these, is, as you, you can see right now, is this regen's 2 mana every 6 seconds. You're going to be leveling so fast that you're not going to have time to med the whole time. Your skills are not going to be... Uh, leveling up because you're going to be you're not going to be training them because you're going to be leveling so quick so these potions will really help help keep your mana up if you need to attack mobs uh you want to work on your skill ups melee wise you can get some uh, haste potions as well you can also grab these uh regen potions you can grab healing potions I uh, highly, highly recommend this. Uh, simply due to the fact that you're going to need mana to cast spells. You're going to need haste to get an attack off. And it, it just helps in the long run. So let's go ahead and dive into this guide. The first thing you're going to do is hit Control F for your find window. And you're going to be looking for a uh, missions vendor. And I believe her name is Destria Kenmar or something like that. Let's scroll down the list here and uh, see if we can find her. Uh, do, 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 Destria Kinmare. There we go. Double click. Follow the path. And as we're on our way, I'm going to explain uh, a little something that's coming up. We're going to be doing a power leveling guide from 1 to 10. Because I really, I really recommend coming here at level 10. Just for the fact that uh, you will be able, you'll be ahead of the game. You'll be able to get more hits in. Your mana will regen a little quicker, and you'll get more credit for the kills. So Shubi Do is going to be the tune getting power leveled. My other tune will be the power leveler. So what Shubi Do is doing right now is he's going through the dialogue. He held the NPC, held by pushing H, by the way. He picked up the quest, he went through the dialogue, he has the quest hatching a plan. And I'll leave this here for a second so you can see. But basically, he picks up the quest, and then he is going to task add the guy behind him that I'm highlighting, uh, Judas, who's going to be power leveling him. He's grabbed the quest, now he's going to type slash task add space player name, in this case Judas. Now, as you can see, Judas now has the task. So, I'm going to wave this around so you can see the dialogue. I accepted it. Now, Judas has the same quest. So, how this is going to work is Shubidu is going to now enter the dungeon by finishing up uh, the dialogue, which is by saying ready. Once he zones in, uh, let's go ahead and get Shubi Doo in real quick. Alright. He told her ready. Now Judas is telling her ready. We made sure that the lower level tune zoned in first. So Shubi Doo's in. Right now he's looking at the mobs. As you can see, they they con red. He shivers before the NPCs. Uh, or the mobs, rather. And now he's going to go back to a safe spot. Meanwhile, Judas is in. Judas is not in the group. 
And what I will be doing on Judas is I'm going to be gathering up all the mobs on Judas. I'm going to uh, run in. I'm going to be sitting a lot. I'll be grabbing a mob or two with a dot. I don't want to do too much damage. So how this works is I run in with Judas. I start uh, hitting my sit button as you can see. And I, I want to do as less damage as possible. As you can see there's already a mob on my extended target window. Um, which by the way if you don't know how the extended target window works. We have a whole complete UI guide that you should check out. But basically Shubidoo is just sitting here. He's chilling, he's cool, he's he's maintained. Meanwhile, I'm out here pulling, doing all the work, doing less damage as possible. I do have a high-end damage shield on me, so the mobs are dying quickly. Uh, but it, it really doesn't matter. As long as you can uh, get these mobs back up to the top, uh, when you reach, when the mobs start hitting around 60 to 70% damage, then you can let your uh, friend know that you're power leveling. Hey, it's time to come out and do some AOE damage. Now, as you can see right now, Judas is in the corner. I personally like to do that to avoid knockbacks. I'm casting my AOE hate spells. Uh, each class is different. You can do this on almost every class. Uh, okay, so now I let Shuby do know it's cool to come out and do some AOE. So he's casting his uh, infectious cloud. His poison storm. Uh, he fizzled there because we've been PLing in the past, so his skills are lacking, but he's getting some hits in. So he's getting credit for every single kill uh, that that that's going down. And these mobs are nine to ten levels higher than him, so he is getting insane XP. And I just want you to, to notice right here, I'm just constantly sitting till the last mob dies. So, I am not doing any damage. The damage shield is doing all the work. That's the key factor here. That's how this works. You go in, awesome damage shield, which you can get in the guild lobby. You can get a friend to cast it on you. Uh, a druid can cast damage shield, ranger, mage, of course, prefer mage. And the damage shield does all the work. So here we are again. Uh, this is the second go around. Gonna go up here and just uh, grab. These were the mobs that were left over. And I'm in the corner again. Waiting for all of them to, to come out. Okay, uh, Shubidoo's aware. He, he, the, the golems do an AoE. So if you notice, Shubidoo took the time to heal himself. Because those golems will AoE. And if you come in here below level 10, you're going to get one shot if you're not careful. So just be aware of that. But he was cool. He, he stayed out of line of sight. He went back. He healed himself. And Judas is now here in goblin form. He's casting his AoE threat. And he's sitting. Meanwhile, Shubidoo's in the back right there. And he's doing all the damage. I'm just sitting and Shibidu is getting a ton of XP. So I want you guys to pay attention to something real quick. Look at the XP bar, it's 9% up there in the top left. We're gonna zoom in here in a second. 34%, you see the cursor there? Now watch this, 61%, and now 86%. What was that, four kills? I mean, the XP here is insane. I mean, it is crazy. It is the way to go from 10 to 70 within I think we did it within two days once completed you're gonna zone out go back into the plane of knowledge and this is gonna be the whole process guys is we're gonna rinse and repeat we did not finish the quest there all we did is we accepted the quest we went in and we pulled mobs so now if you can see Judas is removing himself from the task both tunes are gonna need to do that you're gonna drop the quest you don't want to complete it that's being done now what shuby do is going to do is he's going to accept the quest again he's going to go through the dialogue uh, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner uh, he's already held the mob he's going to click on the dialogue all oh, adventure investigate and then uh, he's going to task add judas again and if you notice in the bottom left it says a strange magical presence pre prevents you from entering. 
it's too dangerous to enter at the moment what he did was he tried to enter too soon this is a normal thing for all quests in everquest you got to give it a second before you go willy-nilly trying to enter in the zone what can i say it's everquest love it or hate it so we're back in here we're going for the second round of the uh power leveling process and it's rinse and repeat guys i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna pull all these mobs and you notice i got a task update right there but we're not like i said we're not completing the quest all i'm doing is pulling every mob that i can and i'm bringing it to this corner to avoid push uh knockbacks and whatnot i'm sitting i'm not attacking i have auto attack off shooby dude comes in the back and he aoe's and he's getting all the xp so what i want to talk about now is the potion that i mentioned at the very beginning of the video it is called the oil of fin and row i'm gonna zoom in here in a second but basically i'm demonstrating this for people who don't get an aoe ability or who may not get an aoe ability till a later level uh, what this will do is this will allow you to cast an aoe direct damage spell hitting every mob around and you can pick these up in the bazaar i don't know the price it really depends on your server but if you want to like power level a warrior or rogue or or whatnot you're gonna want to pick up one of those and i think it's really important to to mention that this doesn't have to be a two people scenario you can have a high level friend carrying an entire group to do this uh it's really effective it's really quick and you'll you'll be 70 in no time once you're 70 i would recommend hitting up the dailies getting your skills leveled up uh you know farming some plat if you're new to the game and, and you just chosen to get power level to 70 and you're new because your spells will skyrocket at that point but other than that that is the way to power level from in my case 10 to 70 within two to three days now i say two to three days but of course that depends on who's power leveling you what classes uh, are involved and all that good stuff and please stay tuned we're going to be putting out a video on how to get to level 10 fairly quickly i recommend coming here at level 10 but you can do this at level one uh you just got to be very careful of those golems and mindful of aggro and all that good stuff that's going to be it for this video so thanks for watching guys and please be sure to like comment and subscribe